I had this pain in like my back on the side, which I recognized was kidney pain. I love this weather. <laughs> I love the rain when it's warm and the heavier it pours, the better. If you're wondering why there's so much yogurt, it's because the sale ends today. I was not expecting this. Turns out there's a sale on like everything that I normally buy and it ends today. So I just got way more stuff than I anticipated. These kids just came up to me and they're asking me if they can interview me, but they're being sketchy. I'm still trying to figure out what this is about. <laughs> they just run away now. I have never been so happy to have access to a fridge and a freezer. It is an absolute glorious thing. $108. That's actually not bad. Oh God, oh God. I still like it, I still like it. The next melding. We're gonna make a turkey, not a fancy turkey, not like a Christmas or Thanksgiving turkey, just a regular edible turkey. It's still frozen. It's been in the fridge for like a week. God, it's legit still frozen. I'm not sure if I should just put it back in the fridge for a day. But, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna remove this. Gross. I'm gonna cover it with salt, put it back in the fridge, and hopefully by tonight, uh, the rest of it will be thawed and we can put it in the oven. <laughs> So we begin again. So we are getting ready to start some seeds. And it snowed again. Because welcome to Montreal. Before I left here, before I got in the van, this whole porch, I had filled it with plants. I was trying to grow a food garden and now we begin again. This is a collection of seeds that I've been holding on to for like a little over two years now. Um, so seeds don't last forever. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to plant some and see what grows if anything is still good in here. sure if she's sleeping or not oh good morning hi okay it's night time we're going to now do the rest of the turkey while that's preheating we're gonna do other things now remember we are not doing a full-on Christmas style turkey this is just going to be half Also worth mentioning, I have never done this before. You don't say! 
will know if this is right. This is like really kind of gross. Maybe it's not sticking to the turkey because the turkey is cold and my hands are warm. No shit. We're going to warm the butter up because this is not working for me. There's a little olive oil because Gordon Ramsay says it helps the butter not burn or something. We're going to just stuff onions in the butt because I've seen other people do it. If you're wondering where the turkey came from, considering I didn't buy it at the grocery store or I didn't show it, it's because it came from the freezer downstairs and I know that no one else is going to cook it, so I might as well do that and eat it, especially considering how expensive groceries are. The overall trend of what I bought, if you did not catch it, is that I am back doing or attempting a keto diet or at the very least low carb. Um, that was how I started. Uh, if you don't already know, I have insulin resistance and so on and fibromyalgia, which may also have a direct correlation with insulin and insulin resistance. So I was just absolutely fed up of the way I felt and being tired all the time and everything else that comes along with it and I already know that going keto is a solution to that so I went keto again I was keto uh, for a month or two in the summer and then a bunch of stuff happened and uh, <laughs> fell off the wagon over there for a minute but I'm back on so the original plan was I was just gonna go keto and start healing the insulin resistance and hopefully losing weight and stuff like that but then I realized so I had this pain in like my back on the side which I recognized was kidney pain that uh, wasn't going away it started about mid-January and it wasn't going away at first I'm just like okay it's probably just a kidney stone and a few weeks it'll pass I've never passed a kidney stone before as far as I know but that's what I read on the internet thing is like two months later it wasn't it wasn't going anywhere and so I started learning about kidney disease and I'm like if I got to the point where I was actually diabetic and that caused kidney disease these are all totally possible things and so learning about these things I realized that I had to not only just not only be low carb but also low protein to help my kidney so that just means that I went from the keto diet that I had been doing, you know, eating a turkey, um, and I cut my protein down and raised my fat. So I just have been eating high fat, low everything else diet. And that's about it. I eat vegetables, I eat fruits, mostly just organic berries. That's been making me feel a lot better. So I'm gonna stick with that and uh, see where that gets us. But uh, so far feels like a life-changing thing and I recommend it to anyone who uh, may feel like they have the appropriate uh, illnesses that would be healed with going uh, keto and stuff. Um, I also wanna mention that um, if you think that something like diabetes is not curable, you have been lied to. The solution is a low-carb diet.
Okay. I've decided these are now scrambled eggs. People get really upset when they find out what I put in my coffee. I put whipping cream. I put whipping cream in my coffee because it's a heavy cream, so it's high fat, low protein. And I put a whipping cream instead of a different kind of heavy cream because I use it for whipped cream. This is monk fruit sweetener. It has no calories, no carbs, even though I try to stay away from sweeteners altogether. This is my thing now, so um, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of this. The whip, the cream. This is just some frozen fruit that I thawed, organic berries and some pineapple. We just put the whipped creams in the fruit. So there's no like sugar sugar in there. The only carbs is whatever's in the fruit. It feels like you're eating garbage, but you're not. Excuse you, get out of the fridge. Get out of the fridge. What are you doing? No, get out. <laughs>